Welcome to another episode of Matrix Monday. In this uh, series, I explore one of my favorite pieces of studio equipment, the Arturia Matrix Brute. This episode, I wanted to plug my guitar directly into the Matrix Brute and kind of see uh, what the filters are capable of doing. Um, I often will send signal through while I'm mixing to, to, through the Matrix Brute for signal processing, either through the filters or just through the effects. Uh, and it's very, very nice. It adds a nice, um, nice tone to a lot of stuff. Playing the guitar directly into the Matrix Brute, really, it's like playing an extension of your instrument because when you're tuning the envelopes and you're using the envelope follower, um, you really adjust it to your style of playing. There's a few things that'll help uh, kind of make it a bit easier to tune in. Uh, one of those would be a compressor and... Um, a noise gate leading into the matrix brute. That often will help uh, with missed triggers and whatnot. Um, for this instance, I'm going directly in though. I have my Gretsch Duo Jet and single coil pickups, ceramic, and they are going directly into the back of the uh, matrix brute. Let's get started. Hold panel, press preset. That gives you uh, an initialized patch. So. Now on the back, there's a switch called audio gate. I have that engaged. The other switch on the back, there's uh, a toggle between line and instrument. Obviously I'm on instrument. I've already set up my levels a little bit. So basically audio gate means when it hears a sig audio signal uh, above a certain threshold in the back jack, it signals a gate. I don't want to hear the oscillator though, so let's shut that off. Let's turn on the external input. It's going to both filters. You can hear my single coil uh, pickup hum a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just go through the Steiner for now and get that tuned in. There's what it sounds like. As it dies out, you'll notice it's a hard kind of cut. So I'm gonna add a bit of release to the VCA. Hopefully that'll fix that. Beauty. Okay, and I'm gonna add a bit of release to the filter as well. Filter envelope, sorry. Let's add some resonance to the Steiner. Add a little bit of envelope. Let's put it on 12 dB. There we go, Ottawa. I think right there we hit a sweet spot almost instantly. Let's try bringing in a bit of drive. Very nice. Okay, so let's bring in the ladder filter. Um, instead of controlling the ladder filter with the same envelope, let's try controlling the ladder filter with envelope three. Giving it, give it its own envelope. Turn down the Steiner Parker and add some resonance to the ladder. Okay, add a bit more. DB as well. I'm giving it a bit 
of envelope one as well. Nice to give it a kind of a varying shape. Okay, let's bring that in with the Steiner. Give it a bit of drive. Those two filters working together make a really interesting tone. So there you go. There's a few tricks you could do. Oh, here's another one actually. We could do, um, let's assign root factor to mod slot one. Factor on the Steiner. And let's put, give the envelope follower. That way the harder we bite into a note. <laughs> How do we hit a note now? There's more feedback in that filter and it makes it bite. Very nice. So there you go. Uh, that's uh, what you could do with the filter. It's obviously just one idea. There are many, and you can keep going. Um, we could use a sequencer, and we could sequence some filter movement. Uh, we could use LFOs and, and automate some filter movement there too. Um, also, let's just let's add a bit of uh, effects just for fun. <laughs> There you go, guys. Uh, very uh, big, heavy, expensive guitar pedal. But um, it's capable of doing more than what any guitar pedal, I think, uh, that I know of anyway, can do. I'm sure there's some that can do single things that this does, but this does a whole bunch of things. This is just one thing. This is two multi-mode filters being controlled by two separate envelopes and an envelope follower with some feedback in one of the envelopes that's controlled by uh, the, um, the strength of our, of our note. Um, so the harder we hit, the more feedback. Really cool sound. And uh, anyway, I hope uh, I got your guys' juices flowing. Remember, if you can put a noise gate and a compressor before uh, upstream of the Matrix Brute, it'll make it a little easier to fine tune in. Otherwise, uh, some more dynamic control on your playing will help make it easier. Um, and also, you don't have to play directly in. We can send tracks through, you can send drums through. Maybe this is some stuff that I'm going to visit in a later episode, but right now, this is just this is one of my favorite things to do with it with my guitar anyway. Um, happy sound designing and music making. Take care.